Peter's interview with lawyer Marie Hennon this week covered very important matters. Did defense counsel Marie Hennon owe women anything in the Gomeshi case? No, not a thing. A defense lawyer is not a gender advocate. She is an advocate for a client, not a cause. A voice for an individual defendant, not a collective body. Was she disloyal to women in her thorough cross-examination of the female complainants? No, not a whit. Women, as a class, were not her charge. She was neither loyal nor disloyal. She was properly disinterested. A defense lawyer is not a member of some outside the courtroom team or cause. Whether that team or cause lines up with gender, race, religion, or any other faction. She has one duty and one duty alone. The dedication of her best, honest efforts. The full deployment of her legal skills on behalf of an accused, her client. The only way Marie Hennon could let women down was not to perform at her best, not to have scrupulously called upon her every legitimate resource as defense counsel, or to allow public opinion or fair criticism or charges of disloyalty to any constituency curtail her strongest efforts. She made it very clear that outside the courtroom, people can think and believe and speak as they want. They may choose what or whom to believe. But choosing to believe outside the court is never the same thing as establishing the facts in one. A trial is not a sampling of public opinion or an indulgence of a public's predisposition on certain issues. The lawyer, to summon a word that came out often in the interview, must be dispassionate, must, in other words, put aside external influences and even her own personal inclinations and feelings on any general issues and bring cold reason to the particular task at hand, which is to best serve, under the rules of the law and the court, the person charged. In extreme or high-profile cases, it takes some bravery and complete professionalism to abide by this standard. Defense of a high-profile and largely derided defendant is a major challenge. It's a major thing to cut athwart the public mood and the current of common opinion. We have courtrooms and judges and defense lawyers to provide a barrier against the disgust towards a particular crime or defendant overwhelming the essential rock-bottom principle of the presumption of innocence. The interview also presented a commendably ardent account and the rationale behind the principle of presumption of innocence, reminding people of the state's exhaustive power and resources when it invokes the criminal law against the individual citizen. It is a principle that needs constant reinforcement, and perhaps never more so than in trials like Gomeshi's, where public sympathy is vigorously against the defendant. It is always necessary to refresh our understanding of first principles, how they came about, how they evolved, and why they have a standing deeper and more consequential than any passing pressure to modify those principles in any given case. Marie Hennon's interview could serve as a primer on presumption of innocence and the defense lawyer's role. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.